Chronicles chapter 20. Somebody say, I'm more than a conqueror. Say it like you mean it, I'm more than a conqueror. Who knows where that scripture is taken from? How many people know? Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Please put it in memory. It's a very simple scripture. For we are more than conquerors because of him who loved us. Romans 8, 37. Please commit it to memory. But I just want to read from the book of Second Chronicles chapter 20. Are you there? And it came to pass, after this also, that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon, and with them other beside Ammonites, came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Please follow me. It's very important. I'm going to start again. I see some of you not concentrated. If you don't have a Bible, move close to somebody that has one. I want to bring something out of this scripture and then we'll be done. Let me start again. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side of Syria. And also, behold, they be in Hazon Tamar, which is in Engedi. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem, in the house of the Lord before the new court, and said, O Lord God of our fathers, art not thou God in heaven? Rulest not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen? And in thy hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee? All this has question marks behind them. Art not thou our God, who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel, and gave it to the seed of Abraham thy friend forever? And they dwell therein, and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name, saying, If when evil cometh upon us, as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house, and we cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help. And now, behold the children of Ammon, and Moab, and Montseir, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade, when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Behold, I say, how they reward us, to come to cast us out of thy possession, which thou hast given to us to inherit. O our God, will thou not judge them, for we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives and their children, just like we are gathered today. Then upon Haziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Beniah, the son of Jael, the son of Methuniah, a Levite of the sons of Ashaph came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation and he said, Hearken ye all Judah 
and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, be not afraid, nor dismayed, by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Can I hear an amen in this house? Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Zeus, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Zeria. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Take your seat. The children of Israel, the children of Judah, were quietly living in the land that God gave them. The Ammonites, the, 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 the children of Ammon, and the Moabites came against the children of Israel. Now, I want you to know something about this scripture. These cities were cities that God did not allow Israel to destroy when they were passing to the land of promise. God said, just leave them, pass by them. And I will lead you to the land of promise. But these same countries that God did not allow them to destroy came against Israel and Judah. Now, there is something I want you to know from this scripture. There are some situations and circumstances that God does not give us an immediate victory over. Just like the devil. The devil, God could have allowed the devil to be killed maybe four, five, six thousand years ago. But how many of you know that the devil is not going to be killed? The devil is not going to die until when Jesus comes. Hello? But though he's still alive and is perpetrating his evil, we have victory over him. When these three countries came against Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat went to the Lord. He said, look, looking at these countries, we don't have strength. We don't have power. There is nothing we can do against them. These are the countries that you told us that we should leave. Now, they are the same country that is coming against us. What do we do? We don't have power, we don't have strength, but our eyes are on you. And the Lord said, leave that battle for me. It is not your battle. It is my battle. I, the Lord, will fight that battle. That is what it means to be more than a conqueror. God knows that the devil is still there. He knows that there are principalities. He knows that there are powers. He knows that there are rulers of darkness of this world. He knows that there are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places all around us, surrounding us, just like the children of Moab, children of Ammon, and children of Seir. And God knows that when we face them, physical to physical, power to power, strength to strength, we cannot prevail. I was looking at the dictionary meaning of conqueror today, and the Bible says a conqueror is a person that gains victory by the force of arms. So, if we want to stand with the force of arms, we cannot win. Just like Jehoshaphat knew. Israel had armies. Judah had armies. But the army that surrounded them were multitudes. I hope you are getting a spiritual secret from this word I'm sharing tonight. Power to power, you cannot contend with principalities. Power to power, you cannot contend with, with, with rulers of darkness. Power to power, you cannot contend with the devil. But I have a news for you that God has made you not just a conqueror, but more than a conqueror. A conqueror is a person that fights with arms, that fights with strength, and he wins. But the truth is that we don't have the strength. We don't have the, the power. We don't have what it takes. That's why the Lord is telling you today, that battle is not yours. The, the, the playlet of the teenagers, look at how big that man that is called death is. Now look at the small one 
that that came i mean power to power if if that big man land on him he will not be able to stand in fact <laughs> he, he will crumble under him but there was something in that small man that made him more than a conqueror and that is what is in you tonight see when you are face to face with what is stronger than you just know that that battle is not your battle that's what i'm saying tonight no if it's a thing you can fight and win god will allow you to fight so many times god allowed israel to fight and they won is that not so so many times there are some things you can fight and win but there are so many things you cannot win and when it gets to that level that you cannot win you have to move from the level of a conqueror to the level of more than a conqueror and that's what god is doing for us tonight not because of anything but just because he loves us how many of you know god loves you <laughs> he does don't let anybody tell you god doesn't love you even if you were in sin immediately you give your life to christ the bible says god forgets about it takes it to the sea of his forgetfulness tonight i've come to let you know that god will fight your battle when he fights your battle, you cannot take the, the, the title of a conqueror anymore. You graduate and you take the title of more than a conqueror. Because more means beyond. More means something greater. More means something bigger. More means something that is added to what you have. That you cannot say it is mine. I pray that the Lord will give you understanding. The Bible says the devil comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. But it says, I have come to give life and to give it more abundantly. You see that he didn't say we, we fight. But he says he's the one that is coming to give us life and life abundantly. So in essence, what am I saying tonight? The Lord is telling you that he wants to step in, bear you on his wings and take you beyond the level of you fighting the battle and saying, I want to win. I want to be like Michael Tyson. I want to be like this and that. I want to fight. And we no, 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 no. This level that God is taking us is not a level that you fight. It's a level that you fold your hands and you allow him to fight the battle. He said the battle is not yours, but mine. And thank God because Jehoshaphat was a very wise king. Listen, God did not tell him to gather people together and go and sing. Mm -mm. If you read that scripture very well, there was no instruction like that. But because he had this, the, the word of the Lord through the prophet, that God said, I will fight the battle you don't need to fight. So what do we do? Let's praise him. Abi? Simple. He said, okay, so what we do is to praise him. The person that is ready to fight our battle, the person that our eyes have been, he said, he said look, our eyes are on you. And God said, don't worry. So what do we do? We we'll praise him. So they gathered together and they began to praise him. When they started to praise him, God caused confusion. They began to fight themselves. They began to kill themselves until they finished themselves. And for three days, according to the scriptures, Jehoshaphat and the army of Israel and Judah gathered a spoil that they did not have to fight to get. Is somebody hearing me tonight? They gathered great spoil that they did not fight to get. Not one day, not two days, but three days. I have prayed earnestly that as we do this convention this month of June, between us from June, we enter into July, we enter into August, in the next three months we are going to be gathering great spoils. Yeah. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. I say in the next three months we are going to be gathering great spoils. Yeah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. We will gather so much spoil and you will look around and you will say, I don't even deserve this. I don't know how this came. It is not because of you. It is because God has made you more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. That's just the word tonight. Just, just rest yourself in it. Maybe there's something you have been struggling and struggling and struggling to get and you have not been able to get. Now, move beyond your strength. Move beyond your ability. Move beyond your wisdom. Move beyond every effort that you have been trying to put into it. Move it beyond it and just move and patch yourself in the hand of the Almighty. And just say, Lord, go ahead and fight the battle. Fold your hands. And watch him do what you cannot do. Fold your hands and watch him deal with your enemies. Fold your hands and watch him deal with that situation and that circumstance. Fold your hand and watch him do what you never thought you could do. 
And then you will begin to gather the spoil. Is somebody blessed tonight? Just as simple as that. Rise on your feet and say, I'm more than a conqueror. Because Jesus loves me. He's fighting my battle. He's taking over my situation. He's taking over my life. Because he loves me. I will gather the spoil that I did not fight to get. He will do the fighting. He will do the battle. I will gather the spoil. Because I am not just a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. Can I hear a better amen? amen. Say it one more time. Say it louder amen. amen. Hallelujah. We are going to lift our voice and just praise him. Instrumentalists get on the instrument. We are going to praise him. I'm going to look at my time. Just five minutes. Listen, if the Lord said he will fight our battles, then let's do like Jehoshaphat did. Let's just praise him. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Let's just praise him. Now we are going to do it this way. Choose your own song. Any song. Now, don't praise him mechanically, please. Don't praise him just with bodily exercise. Jehoshaphat knew the problem he had. It was a koro koro problem. He knew. And when he praised him, God gave him victory. Now, look at that thing that you want God to take over. Look at that situation that you know that is surrounding you. There is no strength that you have to deal with it. And just lift your voice and thank God because he said the battle is not yours. It is his. And as you praise him on your own in three minutes, then we are all going to praise him together in five minutes and we'll be done. Choose your own song and just praise him. If you want to jump. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I always like people being free in the presence of the Lord because I love being free. If you see me in my room dancing, you will think I'm mad. Me alone, I'll just be singing and dancing in my room. I'll just be praising. Take your own song and just praise him. Praise him from the depth of your heart. For that thing, not just ordinarily, for that thing, mention that thing and praise him. Mention that situation. Say, Lord, you are fighting my battle. You are fighting my battle. I thank you. I lift you up. I praise you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Sing and dance and give you praise. Thank you. Give the Lord a wave offering. Something is happening in this place. 
Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for fighting our battles. Thank you for making us more than conquerors. More than conquerors, 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 more than conquerors. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You see, there's, there are some issues that God is settling today, 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 today. I mean what I'm saying. Today, 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 the, the, the 12th of June. There are some issues God is settling today. I can just sense it in my spirit. Father, we thank you. Lord, we are grateful. You are the captain of the army. You are the one that is fighting the battle. We are just more than conquerors. We are just to gather the spoil. Thank you for every situation and circumstance that is beyond our physical control. Thank you for every situation and circumstance that is beyond our strength. Like Jehoshaphat said, I don't have strength. I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you. Thank you for the situation and circumstances that we don't know what to do, but we have lifted our eyes up to you tonight. Thank you, Lord, because you are fighting the battles. We shall gather the spoil in the name of the Lord Jesus. We shall gather the spoil in the name of Jesus. We shall gather the spoil in the name of Jesus. Those issues that need your intervention today, today, Father, begin to intervene in the name of Jesus. Those situations that cannot wait till tomorrow, Lord, I ask you to step in speedily tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, those advancements of the forces of darkness that must be stopped. Today, I release your angels to stop them in the name of Jesus. They shall not advance. I say they shall not advance. I decree that they shall not advance. In the name of the Spirit, those activities are stopped. Yes, I stand in authority. And I say those secret activities, I command a halt now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We shall not need to lift a finger. We shall not need to fight. You will do the fighting. We will have the victory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands to give him the glory. We lift our hands to give him the praise. And we will praise him for the rest of our days. Yes, we will praise him for the rest of our days. We lift our hands.
we shall continue to praise you because we are more than conquerors Lord we give you praise Lord we give you glory Lord we give you honor Lord we give you adoration receive our thanks from us tonight and let your name forever be glorified in Jesus mighty name we have prayed put your hands together for the Lord as you take your seat hallelujah if you are blessed today by that word and by this service do join us all the time for powerful living and your life will continually receive the blessings of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I want to invite you to be with me on Tuesday at the Breakthrough Service in Abana Life Gospel Church, number 69, Niju Road. Breakthrough Service is every Tuesday, 10 to 12 noon in the morning. In that meeting, people are ministered to powerfully by the Word of God. Deliverances take place. People are trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb, pregnant women, businessmen and women who need breakthrough in their businesses, people who have one challenge or the other, who needs ministration, who needs counsel, you know, that is what that breakthrough service is meant for. I want to invite you to join me on Tuesday by 10 o'clock in the morning. Hallelujah. And your life will continually receive the blessings of the Lord. Amen. Can you give your life to Christ today? Just say this after me. Close your eyes and say this, Lord Jesus. I commit myself to you. I confess all my sins. I ask you to forgive me. Write my name in the book of life. I hand over my entire life to you. Take over now. You are the Lord and the Savior of my life. Amen and amen. If you pray that prayer, I tell you it's very simple. The Lord Jesus Christ has acknowledged you and he has written your name in the book of life. Hallelujah. Well, I want to continue to hold on in the faith and continue to increase in his mighty hand and in his grace. I love you, and Jesus loves you better and loves you best. Amen. See you again.